Yes. It's been leaked. Look. Leaked. Look at this. This has been leaked. Live leaked. I care for everybody. This has been live leaked. No, you. Thank you very much. Well, that's much smart here. What a lovely, lovely crowd. You're so much better than last week. The joke is that they film a few episodes in the one day. Aye, that's my hair. That's my hair there. That's him wearing a wig. So, so much better than last week. It's the same lot. What a lovely, lovely crowd. You're so much better than last week. <laughs> no, you really are. I mean, oh, what trash. Trash. And that Ethel, oh. It's a trash. Bruce Forsyth used the word trash in 1987. So it's not like a pure American thing. Long sat there, but with you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> she's not a group of a herd. Um, ah, I missed that. Sorry, I laughed anyway. I, I didn't even hear what you said, but I laughed anyway. It's just the way he tells them. And that group she was with, not a group, they were a herd. Um, ah! Animals, but what I love about you, because just looking at you, 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 you look, you look so fresh. <laughs> That's funny. He said we look fresh. What are we laughing at? And so untouched. <laughs> Well, I'm so glad because tonight is a newlywed show. So, so oh yeah, and of course I will be asking them some very, very intimate questions. I mean, David Frost goes through the keyhole. <laughs> Brucey gets right between the sheets. <laughs> yes, man. Yes. Talking about newlyweds, fresh and untouched, and uh, questions about between the sheets. <laughs> Talking like a fucking lord with a, what's that, is it Prima Nocta or whatever? It's, it's got a, an English uh, aristocracy. Wait, yeah, uh, aye. They, they can't help it. You saw it in Braveheart, they can't help it. They can't help it. Doesn't matter if it's 1987 or fucking 1587, that lot down there. Can he help slip into their old ways? Thank you. I'm the joker in the place with four little aces who set the pace. And that is why I say with feeling, OK, dollies, do your... Do dollies. Dollars. That's it, 1987. Dollies. 1987. As you see. Dollies. As you see, oh, dear. As you see, Alice... Come on, dolly birds. Alison. <laughs> Alison's with the red cards at the top and Carol's following along there with the blue... Why are you even giving them a name? Why not just call them Dolly 1 and Dolly 2 and Dolly 3? At the bottom, so we have our... Right, here we fucking go. Right, here we go. Get on with it. On with it. Skip, skip, skip. I'm not interested. Get on with it. On with it. On with it. Skip, 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 skip. On with it. 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 Cards, cards, cards. Right, right, here we go. You have cut the cards. Good. Now, the idea of the game is this. We want you to work your way across the board by predicting whether each of these cards is higher or lower than the preceding one. The first one to turn over the last card correctly will win the game and a Brucey bonus. Woo! But you cannot win a game or a Brucey bonus until you've won a question. One of the questions are based on a poll of 100 people. You won the toss, Ian and Kim, so you will bat first. Bat and ball. You will bat first. <laughs> and good luck to you all. Here we go. We're away. We Here we go. 100 single women. So that's my hair right now. Look at that kilt. What kilt? There's a kilt. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. I missed a fucking Scottish guy. Oh, fuck. Let's get some Scottish jokes in. Wait a minute. Let's see. I completely fucking missed that. Yes, man. Right, so here's what I'm predicting. Um, a wee joke about him being Scottish. This is 87, mind you, not 82. Um, a wee joke about him being Scottish. Something today with being miserly. Something today with money. Falcons and Clan McIntosh thinks it's up. I see you, big man. Clan McIntosh, don't look at this. It's a very Scottish name. You might get offended here. Swampy thinks it's two and a bits. Have some spare change for the alcohol free beers. Do you know I'm not even really drinking them anymore? I kind of went after them. Are you doing drugs? I want to be watching that. Thanks to the bits, but I want to be watching Gary Barlow's rendition of Spills that Smells Like Teen Spirit. I'm not into it. I'm sorry, please don't give me bits and ask me to watch things because you might be sorely disappointed. 
Retro, thanks for the sub. Um, I'm predicting a joke about bagpipes, alcoholism, my, being miserly with money, not being uh, easily understood. Um, that's about it. Followed up by, no, but serious, I love Scotland, love Scotland. I've done some amazing shows up there, all love, you know, whatever it is, Aberdeen, Glasgow, Haggis, I. Good luck to you all, here we go. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. Right, I see it, that's them in the blue shot, that's them in the blue shot, right, 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 here we go. Here we are. The man that Aberdonia is out there, there's... Aberdeen, there you go. Sylvia and Philip. Dawson. Dawson, I see. And where are you from? Aberdeen. Oh, from Aberdeen. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> the man at Aberdonia is out there. That's good. And what do you do, Philip? So he knows that, he knows that somebody from Aberdeen is called an Aberdonian. So that's very, very respectful. I'm a solicitor. Oh, a solicitor. Oh, we don't have many of those on the show. A facilitator. And what do you do, Sylvia? I'm a solicitor as well. You're not! Yeah. There's local government here and two solicitors. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. we've never had two solicitors, do That's fine. Well, now, keep your answers. Oh, the, Bruce, you nearly had... You, the part was nearly coming to you. You almost had a joke there, didn't you? I could see it in his smile on his face. He, he felt like he almost had a bit of part of there. Oh, two solicitors. No, I had two... That's great. And what do you do, Sylvia? I'm a solicitor as well. You're not! <laughs> There's local government here and two solicitors. Oh, well, yeah. we've never had two solicitors do it. That's fine. Well, now keep your answers as brief as possible. Is that it? <laughs> so, got government people here and two solicitors? That's fine. I'm going to do a little cross examine. Now, how long, how long have you two been? Cross examine, that's good. That's a good law joke. Four, yeah. Four days. Wait a minute, wait, wait. How long, how long have you two been married? Four days. Four days. What? Jay! Oh, that's lovely. Four days. That's beautiful. Now, did you, uh, did you... That's all they talk... This, this is their honeymoon. This is all they must have talked about at the wedding. Did you know... Did, did you say? Did you say where we're going to be in, in uh, four days? Uh, next week, well, play your cards right. You want a bit? We're going to go and play our cards right. On the fucking telly? In four days? So we got what? What? So we're watching. Wait a minute, this is Saturday. But no, no, no. We're filming it, and then it will be on. Oh, do you think you should go on like a honeymoon or something? You know. No, I thought I'd treat her. You know, we should. You know, we'll be surprised. Do you have a choir or a jury? <laughs> no, neither. Neither, neither. neither. <laughs> I see. So you got married on the uh, 26th? That's right. On the yes. 26th. Right. Now, did you... <laughs> <laughs> or did you not... <laughs> <laughs> on the night of the 26th? <laughs> of course you did, otherwise you wouldn't be here. <laughs> but anyway, tell us all about the wedding. Did, by the way, did you wear a kilt for the wedding? Oh, yes. yes. Oh, good. It saves a bit of time. <laughs> and... Um, <laughs> <laughs> Saves a bit of time because, like, you know, his, his cock's already there. Penis. His penis. It's a sex joke. Oh, yes. yes. Oh, a good size of his. Round taking down trousers and pants, he can just lift up his kilt to expose his uh, genitals <laughs> for sexual intercourse. Wait, did you wear a kilt for the wedding? Oh, yes. yes. Oh, a good size of his time. <laughs> and, um. <laughs> <laughs> For goodness sake, I'll clear this place. I've done it before. What about the uh, what about the first night? Because you spent that in Scotland, of course, on your way yes, wherever you go. Right. And okay, what, right. what, tell us about the first night. Did there any well, pranks? I mean, well, anybody get up to anything? Yes, it was something, what? wasn't it? Yes. What, what did they do? The uh, bed was filled with confetti. Oh, not the whole bed. The whole yes. bed, yes. Oh, by, by the best man. Oh, so I suppose, I suppose you spent all night knocking spots over one another. <laughs> <laughs> you, oh, you hoovered the bed? Yes. That's lovely. Well, now, where are you on you? You must be on your way from somewhere. Let's... That's a really, really good... They, they got X'd, aye? They got X'd. That's a really good one. Covered the, the bed in confetti. <laughs> got me, huh? 
not at the end of your honeymoon. No, is it? we're no. going to France. We're driving oh, to France. I'm, you're driving to France. Oh, how lovely, marvellous. And where are you going to finish up? Hopefully. In the south of France, hopefully. South of France? Yes. Oh, uh -huh. I see. So we're it's going to Lake Geneva as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, because I heard you. Is that right? You're a couple of skiers? Yes. yes. Yeah, well, don't get carried away. Don't wear your skis in bed. <laughs> Whatever you do, that could be very nasty. Oh. Why would they do that? Why would they wear their skis in bed, Bruce? Very nasty. Anyway, you look to them. <laughs> Good joke. I like I like the save a bit of time joke. That was I like that joke. Um It would have been good though when he turned to the audience and criticized them for laughing. I mean it was pretty clear that that is what he was joking about, though. He should have followed it away. I meant, you know, getting ready. Getting ready. You know, because the kilt, you know, you just wrap it around. Dead quick to put on. Getting dressed. Very nasty. <laughs> All right, very nasty. Anyway, you look too, they look too happy couples. They really do. Have you cut the cards? Yes. You yes, have cut have. the cards. Good. Now... The idea of the game is this, we want you to... Right, right, forget that. Let me skip on to the actual <laughs> cards. And then don't worry, we're not going to watch all that. I want to get on with it. Right, here we go. Here we go. Bad guess, but you were right. You were right to go higher. So, Philip and Sylvia, you have a... Ba it's a fucking 10. What do you think? Got to be a lower. Lower, here we go. Card is a 10. Do you want to change it? Change, change it, it if you want. Change the 10. Oh, forget what I just said. Nine. It's a fucking 9. Higher or lower? A lot of people saying higher. They like, right, That's a bit of a bad change, but what do you think? We've got to go up. Higher. What do you think? Lower. Lower, please. Fucking higher. Why don't you say a seven? Higher. What do you think? What do you think? You can freeze if you want to, or you can... Don't freeze. freeze. Don't freeze. You're going to freeze and play it safe and stopping Ian and Kim from having a go. All right. Philip and Silver, you to answer. Silver. Sylvia. <laughs> Silver. It's a horse, isn't it? Right. <laughs> Philip and Sylvia, you to answer the question first this time. We asked 100 Salvation Army girls. Right, let's go on with the game. Paul was took. Penny, Obscene Ace and Retro, Falcons. Thanks for the subs. Let's go on with it. Ask them what? What did they ask? All right, then. I we need to find out. Hold on, settings. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Close it. Close it. This is an interactive stuff. Fucking close it. Right. Um, shit. Wait a minute. I thought I clicked settings for full screen. Uh, play, play your cards right. 87, there it is. Grammarly is your personal writing assistant for clear emails, confident messages, stronger essays, and more to help you. Strong, confident, Right, here we go. Well, 73, you think? Oh shit, wait. Slightly higher. Slightly higher than 70. What the stop Right, let's get into it. Under 25. If you'll bat first, bat ball, you'll bat Right, here we go. Right, so we've got the cards. Sylvia, you to answer the question first this time. We asked 100 Salvation Army girls. In an emergency, would you go into a pub just to use the ladies' toilet? How many Sally Army girls said yes? In an emergency, they would go into a pub just to use the ladies' toilet. What? I think it'd be now, quite high. I think it'd be quite high. You think it's quite yes. high? They'd have... What? Yes. Choice. Yes. I say? Um, I think it'd be now, quite high. I think it'd be high. You think it'd be high? Now, first of all, self by Salvation Army girls. It's women they're talking about, am I right? Um, I mean, it's not like fucking girl guides or something. It's not Salvation Army. Um, right. You're actually maybe even talking about women that are like 60 years old, right? Would you go into a pub to do the toilet? 
Salvation Army sounds religious. They are religious. They're, they're, oh, they're abstinent. Right, right, I see. They're very religious, and I think if they no got... Did they know they are kind of thing where um, they're anti-LGBTI? I think they've got sort of conditions. I think I think they do lots of good work for uh, homeless and things like that on certain conditions. It's conditional. It's conditional on you, and I don't want to get sued here, but it's condition, conditional on, in terms of your gender, your um, sexuality and so forth. It's conditional. Like the church. Yes. I say. Um, yes. I say. They wouldn't think too much about it being a public house. You don't think? I don't think they would no. mind if they were really that desperate. I mean, I don't know. I don't know the ins and outs of it, but I think it's maybe. Uh, no, no, I, I don't know. I was ready to say something. I don't know. All right, what do you think? 73? 73. 73. 73, you say 73. Now, local government. <laughs> what do you think about this local government? Well, they're always in. The in to use the ladies is 78. Oh, go. good game. So they're asking, they're asking these women. See if you, see if you needed a pish or a shite. Do you go into a pub? You, so is it true you don't drink? See if you're like dying for a shite, but you're going to a pub. What are you asking for? I'm asking for... Um, play a cards right. Would you like to take part and play a cards right? Just a wee survey? Yes. See if you're... So you just don't go into pubs, right? What we are dying for a shite? Sorry. Is this still play a cards right? Aye, this will be this will be used. 